on your CV now is when you've had a, a terrific career and Hong Kong's probably been the making of you to, to some extent, but now you've got this. Yeah, well, it's very important to, when you travel away to be able to win some of these big races because then that means people are going to put you on again in the future. So hopefully it opens a few more doors now and I can keep putting these ones in the bag. How long are you in Hong Kong for? Are you happy there? You, you keen yeah, to I've, I've got another licence for next year, so I'll be there for another 12 months to reassess um, how we're going at the end of that, that season. and. You know, at this stage I'm very comfortable there. I enjoy Hong Kong, the lifestyle suits me. I can play golf, I can, you know, be a normal person as, as well as a jockey. So I enjoy it there. And whilst ever I keep riding winners and keep getting support, I'll probably stay there. Never yeah, forget your roots though. Obviously a lot of people back home in Australia right now, pretty proud of Zach Burton. I see Bevan Lambing here today, uh, he's done a lot for you. Yeah, Joe Janiak come and said hello as well. And he said, uh, my good mate John Hennessy from Coffs Harbour sent his regards, so that's good. And, you know, in the last sort of day and a half, I've had probably a hundred text messages from friends wishing me well and things like that. So, you know, everyone's very supportive and to be able to do it for Australia, Australia is great. Just think if you're riding black caviar, how, how you'd be. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be good. That'd be another one in the back of the net. No, great job today, Zach. Well done. Thanks, Parky.